Right, my top five chart plot of fish finders for sea angling. Lawrence Elite FS9 GPS fish finder, this one. And um, this is a nice unit. Active target live sonar ready. Fish reveal, preloaded sea map. Sea map easy routing, Navonics, auto routing capability. Um, and what do you get in the box? So you get the unit, Lawrence Elite FS9, you get a sun cover, HDS9 Live Elite FS9 bracket, transducer sold separately. Uh, there's a Lawrence Active Imaging 3 in 1 transom mount transducer, just over $400. Um, a fuse. An HDS Elite Hook Mark Power only cable. So just quick in the specification screen brightness. SD card card storage on micro SD card up to 32 gigabyte Ethernet port. Warranty period one year for additional years of upgrade. Da, 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 da. GPS 10 hertz internal high sensitivity. Shock vibration. 100,000 cycles or 20G, compass safe, 12 inch, supply voltage, 12 volts, GPS receiver channel, 16, weight, 2.7 pounds, position accuracy, 20M RMS, waypoints, routes, tracks, 3,000 waypoints, time to first fix, 30 seconds, recommended foods around 3M, Storage temperature, 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Radar compatibility, 4G broadband, 3G broadband. Operating temperature range. View angles, 50 degrees top, 60 degrees bottom, 70 degrees left. Display resolution, 800 by 480. Chart overlay, target vessel details. Chart support, CMAP. Max M, Max N, C map, Genesis, Navonics, Gold, Nav, and Platinum, Inside Pro and HD. Yeah, so it's a pretty nice, pretty nice unit. Um, so it gives you access to the full lineup of Lawrence Fish Finding tools, to an active target live sonar. I tell you, make the most of your time on the water. So it's the Elite Fishing System, FS, combines the power of Lawrence's proven and newest fish finding tools with a more affordable display that's easy to use and install from an integrated support for active target live sonar and extreme high resolution active imaging with Lawrence Chirp Sonar, side scan and down scan imaging to preload C map. Enhanced embedded fishing maps, Elite FS gives you all the tools you need to find and catch more. So, 3 in 1 sonar fishing chirp side scan. Target fish. Yeah. So, active target, C map, high resolution, full touchscreen control for power. And there you go. Right, the Lawrence Hook Reveal 5 GPS fish finder. They're doing a 7 inch as well. So, it's obviously designed to make fishing easier. Delivering powerful performance on a budget, proven fish finding tools, order tuning sonar, down scan imaging, improved deep water performance. Now, I was just looking at the specification, it didn't actually tell me how deep it actually goes, this one, which makes fish, fish easier to see by combining the beds of Lawrence Chirp sonar and down scan imaging. Um, so, yeah, so. The features are fish reveal, see fish light up against picture, perfect down scan views, Genesis live real time mapping, auto tuning sonar, 50 to 200 HDI transducer with low high chirp and down scan imaging, preloaded chart, solar max display, new fish finding color palettes, micro SD card slot. Ideal for coastal and offshore fishing. Improved sonar performance in deep water. So weight, 
is 0 0.90 pounds or 0 0.41 kg uh, power consumption max 0 0.9 amps at 13 VDC with backlight on full GPS 1 Hertz GPS warranty period shock vibration compass safe 12 supply voltage 12 volt humidity 60 degrees C cartography included C map Approvals compliance FCC Industry Canada Mounting type gimbal bracket front dash flush mounts Waterproof rate IPX7 with car door closed SD card storage micro SD card 32 gigabyte so you in this particular package deal you get the hook five hook two four and five cruise five brackets Get the power cable, foos one set, corner clips, and you get the reveal 50 to 200 HDI transducer. Lawrence HDS7 Live GPS Fish Finder. So, this is the more professional fishing circuit. Um, so, it's just you know, tailored for the angler, the sleek new design. And um, it's sort of talking about sort of the state of the art fish find performance with HDS Live, which includes built in Lawrence Chirp Sonar, support for active imaging. So, this one's a little bit more expensive than the others. And um, so, I just wanted to try and establish where that extra money's coming from. So, we've got active imaging, structure scan 3D. Active imaging and revolutionary live site real time sonar. And it's big enough to use a standalone display. Active imaging, fish reveal, mapping in real time. Update the mapping of your favourite fishing spot or map up. Unmap areas with half foot contours in real time. Okay, so then you go on micro SD card, yeah. Smartphone notifications. Okay. Active imaging three in one transducer. Active imaging three in one transducer. Combines a new active imaging scanning sonar. So, so Lawrence HDS seven live GPS fish finder features. So active imaging three in one chirp side and down sonar ready. Active imaging two in one structure scan. Live site real time sonar compat compatible smartphone notifications high performance dual core processor CMAP Genesis live on screen mapping fish reveal smart target view high resolution solar max HD multi touch screen preloaded high detail CMAP CMAP easy routing dual channel chirp Live network sonar, Cyrus XM marine weather, wireless and Bluetooth connectivity, heat map chart overlay, enhanced surface clarity. Okay, so yeah, so it's got some more, it's got some better features, I suppose. Um, it's diff, it's, yeah, it's just difficult to sort of. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like spending a couple of grand versus spending one, which is six hundred. I mean, they all do. They can all. They all do the same thing. I suppose it's how crisp you want it and how fast the processes are and and stuff like that. How much money you've got to spend on one? Uh, they're all good brands. Um, and as long as I mean, if you're inshore fishing, you know, you don't really need the state of the art stuff. You know, but if you're going you know, um, you know, if you've got a bigger boat and you go offshore a lot, or you're using it commercially, then you might want to invest in something with a bit more oomph in it. You know, probably even buy it as a business loan. Um, so yeah, so yeah, it's got so it's similar. So yeah, in the box, HDS seven live unit, active imaging three ones transducer. 
power cable, live bracket, live sun cover, bezel and SD door. Yeah, okay. Weight, three pounds. At position actually 20 miles, 20 MRMS. Warranty period, two years. And 12 volt. Power consumption, typical 1.7, 1.7 amp at 13 VDC with full black backlight. Uses up a bit more juice. Right. This is the Ferno. Ferno GP1871F DB7 Deep Blue Chirp GPS Fish Finder. With chart. What can we find out about this? It's waterproofing IP56. Power supply 12 to 24 VDC. Weights 0.9 kg, bracket mount 1.1 kg, um, fish finder frequency chirp 40 to 225 kHz, CW 50 to 200 kHz, transducer 300 watt or 600 watt or 1 kilowatt transducer dependent range. Five to one, two hundred meters. Okay. And the plotter is chart C map four D memory capacity thirty thousand points, chips, tracks, and waypoints, five thousand quick points. GPS receiving type GPS seventy two channels. Accuracy GPS ten meters max. Screen type GP187. Chart plot of fish finder radar. Connection to the first watch wireless radar BR S4W required. Instruments nav, data, engine, wind, and fuel tank. That's good. Autopilot. Okay. Yeah. Wireless radar connection, built in chirp fish finder, multi touch interface, preloaded charts. All right, yeah, so that one looks a real, real belter, that one, and um, looks like you can do a little bit more with it. Um, yeah, I'd imagine it's more of a commercial sort of one, but there's no reason why you couldn't have one like that on you. On your trailer boat. Right, the Raymarine Dragonfly 7. Now I actually I used to own this one and um, I used to install it myself and I did actually find it quite easy to use. Um, and um, yeah, the chart plot is quite good. And um, so the advantages of this is chirp technology ensures that the transducer can produce a highly detailed and accurate image of the water around you. High resolution, a um, bit better than some of the others on the market. You don't need to uh, purchase any additional accessories. You get everything you need. The 7 has easy to use controls and features. Yes, I found that. This is a highly portable device. Yes, it can be unclipped and moved if, if, you, know, if, you, if you want to. I don't know where else you're going to move it to, but yes, you can, you can do, I suppose. Uh, value for money, um, yeah, I suppose it. I suppose it's all all, all right. Um, others on the market, though, are, are, you know, they're just as good, really. Uh, it's a high six hundred forty by four hundred eight resolution and just high definition. Sonar, GPS tracking, location, and stores to SD card. Disadvantages: the power lead is quite short. On this device, yes, I had an issue with the power lead actually. Um, it just reached, um, or the lead from the transducer, um, from the transducer at the back of the boat, going actually into the sounder where it was positioned just in front of the the um, the helmsman um, position. That wasn't. It was, it was barely long enough, and it, it actually I had to go a different route with it or something. 
So you can get extensions for it, but I looked into that and you can't sever the cable. It's, it's, quite, it's quite a tricky thing really. So it might not be suitable for a, a, a large boat. My boat was 22 foot, so it might not be, be, be large enough. So um, either place it near the power so you could use an extension if you need to flex with positioning. Yeah, I didn't think there was any extension leads available. This device is only available for customers. Yeah, okay, now that's fair enough. So yeah, I mean, it's. Um, I, I did actually find it quite good and exciting to use if, if I want my honest opinion of it. Um, but you know, if I had more money, I probably the Ferno would be my my um, my go-to. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you later.